In this video, we'll look at whether NOCl is polar or nonpolar. And note in the structure here, the nitrogen, that's in the center of our structure. So the first thing we'll want to do to figure out whether this NOCl is polar or nonpolar, let's look at the electronegativity difference of the different elements here. So we have the nitrogen in the center, that's 3.04. We have an oxygen, that's 3.44. And then chlorine, 3.16. So the most electronegative element, that's the oxygen. And what that means is we have this double bond. Two pairs of electrons are shared, but they're not shared equally. They'll spend more time with the oxygen. And since electrons are negative, we would expect that the oxygen would be a little bit more negative than say the nitrogen and then over here the chlorine. Because of that, we have a polar molecule. Let's take a look at this in three dimensions though. So the nitrogen, that's in the center. The green, that's the chlorine. Then we have our double bonded oxygen here. If we look at the molecular surface, we're expecting the oxygen to be a little bit more polar. So in this representation here, when we look at the surface of the molecule, the electrostatic potential here, we can see the oxygen has this red area. It's a redder color. That means it's more negative. And we kind of come over here and the chlorine, that's this whole area here is a little more positive. So we definitely have a polar molecule. That's because the electronegativity difference in the oxygen means that the electrons shared in the double bond here they're going to spend more time with the oxygen, make this side more negative. That means they spend less time over here, so it's a little more positive. This is Dr. B answering the question whether NOCl is polar or nonpolar. It is a polar molecule. Thanks for watching.